Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is episode three of the rebuild series I'm doing on the Salvage 2020 TRD Pro Tacoma. to share with you guys what I did to the Tacoma today and some of the work that was done because as you can see we have the 2020 TRD Pro LED style headlights put in which look absolutely awesome. We also have a light bar put in place and in general the truck is just starting to look like it's really coming together. Today's episode is all about the lights as you can see we're gonna get into how exactly we mounted the LED style headlights, get into a little bit about them and actually talk about what we're gonna do for this one over here because shh, it's actually broken and then we also have a few other small things under the hood to take care of first. Also on my Instagram I posted this picture of this truck and asked you guys for name suggestions for this truck. The owner is kind enough to let one of us pick a name for her and we have some pretty good suggestions so far I'm gonna read some of my favorites out we have diamond in the flesh Spencer who's also a Tacoma youtuber says to name it Boris I think my favorite one so far is Kylie cuz she's getting face and full body work done <laughs> Trooper as in Stormtrooper, Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas as she was always putting herself back together, Hawkinator, Captain Rex, Project Pro, Darth Blanco, Phoenix, Yeti, Addison, Betty, Pink Taco, Taco Bell, and Sexy Beast. These are all great names. Feel free to comment me more suggestions below or over on my Instagram. But without getting further distracted, let's get into fixing this Tacoma today. If you guys have been following this build, you'll know that the truck was hit on the passenger front side. So some of the components that were damaged were the lower air intake box, the power steering fluid mounting bracket, and the windshield wiper reservoir. So we're gonna take care of a couple of those things before we get into the install of the TRD Pro Style LED lights and the light bar. So quick recap from episode two. If you missed it, I'll link it down below. But basically what happened in a nutshell was I started installing this awesome looking TRD air intake. And unfortunately for us, the kit only came with the upper air box and wanted us to use the OEM lower box, which was broken during the crash. So this is all I could do. And we actually still don't have that box quite yet, but what we do have is this windshield wiper reservoir. So we're gonna install that. Another really quick thing I wanted to mention was about the power steering fluid reservoir and bracket. This is basically the bracket. And what happened is it got bent and warped and damaged in all sorts of weird ways. And it's supposed to mount Kind of like this, but since it's warped, all the mounting places for this mounting bracket itself are bent out of place, which means the power steering fluid reservoir has nowhere to sit. So because of that, we're just gonna have to buy a new bracket. And unfortunately, on top of all of that, the bracket only comes with a new power steering fluid reservoir. So we're gonna have to buy these two pieces new, even though the power steering fluid reservoir is fine itself which is annoying, but that's something that needs to be done. So even though the old windshield wiper fluid reservoir was broken in a million little pieces, somehow this nice little pump survived the crash. So we took this original pump and put it on the new windshield wiper reservoir. So this is pretty simple. We're gonna just connect the pump line to the pump. And then we're gonna connect the windshield wiper fluid control electronics to the top of the pump right here, the reservoir itself is going to sit right where that hole is. Then at the top here, we're going to put two 10 millimeter screws to hold it in place. All right, so now let's get into some of the more fun parts of the video. This right here that I'm holding is a TRD Pro LED style OEM headlight, which looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they're not even on and it looks so good. These were introduced in the 2020 Tacoma models and up. Now that I've seen these in person, I really wanna pick up a pair for my own truck. But basically the story with the salvage truck is that we were lucky enough for the driver's side headlight to actually not crack in a million little pieces like the passenger side did. So we're using the original one that came with the truck, although there are a couple pieces that are broken off that 
the headlight mounts to. So I'm gonna talk about the workaround we're gonna do to actually get these headlights mounted. But the owner of this truck actually had to buy a new passenger side headlight, which was a whopping $800. So these things, OEM, are not cheap but they look absolutely great and when they're all lit up, they look even better. So the way that these headlights mount to the truck is a piece down here, a hole up here, and a hole up here. So if we put the headlight in place, the bottom piece fits in this particular headlight, but the top two brackets that actually mount onto the sub-assembly on this particular headlight were unfortunately broken off during the crash, so as is, obviously this headlight can't be mounted. But instead of paying another $800 for a replacement of this headlight, the owner of this truck actually bought some aluminum that he's going to cut out and JB weld onto these broken tabs, and basically those pieces are going to mount onto the sub-assembly. So literally underneath the hood, this isn't going to be an exact stock setup, but I think it's a pretty good and creative solution to mounting this headlight. All right, so this is the box of the brand new TRD Pro LED style passenger side headlight. Let's open it up. All right, here it is. I'm almost afraid to touch it because it's so, so beautiful. But we're gonna mount this up on the truck. And right before we snap the bottom piece into the tab, like I talked about on the driver's side, we're gonna actually put in these plastic anchors in between the sub-assembly and fender pieces and the brackets themselves. So those just snap into place before the headlight. We're gonna screw them down with two 10 millimeter bolts. Also, I just realized there is another place that the headlights mount to. It's this piece right here. So this is just a 10 millimeter bolt that we're going to screw into place. Also, say hi to Cody. It's past his bedtime, so he's knocked out. Also, I wanna mention that behind the headlight, this is the plug that plugs in. It's just one plug for these 2020s. All right, so now I got both sides of the headlights mounted up. I know earlier in the video I said this side was kind of our problem side. It's actually not really mounted on correctly right now. We're gonna take it off, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted to mount it on just so we could like turn on the lights and I could show you guys what it looks like all lit up. But basically, it's held on by this screw right here, this tab down here, and temporarily a couple of zip ties. Now I'm gonna close the hood. I'm gonna test the lights. So we still have these little trees, black ice. I know not a lot of people are a fan of this, so we need to take this out. All right. And we're gonna turn on the lights. Looks like they both worked. Hey, Cody. And there you have it. We got both of these working on the first try, which is always a nice thing, but I also really like the fact that on the TRD Pro model, on the passenger side, it says TRD, and then we go over to the driver's side, and it says Pro, which is really cool. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do in this video is we got these brackets from SCHQ, and basically what these brackets are are to mount a 30-inch light bar behind the grill, and we're just gonna put the brackets on the truck for now. We have a Procom 30-inch light bar that we're gonna just mount, but not light up for demonstration just of this video. The specific product is a 2016 Plus Tacoma behind the grill light mount. So these things are pretty cool, adding yet another feature to the TRD Pro that will make it unique. And if you guys are curious, this MSRP is for, I think, $120, although they're on sale for $110. Obviously, this wasn't a necessity to the TRD Pro build, but it's just, like I said, something that's unique and pretty cool. And maybe it'll give you guys an idea of how to mount a 30 inch light bar if you're interested. So the driver's side bracket mounts to the radiator bolt here and to where the bumper would be right here. So because we don't have a bumper on right now, the only thing I'm gonna have to do is loosen this radiator bolt. I don't even have to take it out all the way because this will just kind of hook in. Now I'm gonna put the bracket on the loosened bolt.
All right, and now I'm gonna tighten the bolt back down. Next, I'm gonna mount the lower part of the bracket to where the bumper mounts to with the supplied quarter inch bolt from SDHQ. All right, now this bracket is pretty secure in place. Looks awesome, and now we're gonna do the other side. All right, so that's how these two SDHQ brackets mount onto the Tacoma, very, very easy. And now we're gonna mount this 30 inch Pro Comp light bar just for demonstration purposes. But ideally we're going to be mounting a 30 inch Baja Designs light bar. By the way, use code ChloeK10 for 10% off BajaDesigns.com. But for all intents and purposes, we're gonna mount this. We're not gonna wire it up, but we're just gonna show you how it mounts on. All right, so what's cool about these SDHQ brackets is that you could see there's a lot of different places to mount the light bar. I'm just gonna choose to mount it right here at a fairly high height. I think this is the highest height we can mount it. And obviously once we get the grill and the sensor in, we're gonna have to readjust the light bar, but this is just for demonstration purposes for you guys. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And also just as a note, like I said, we're not actually wiring this up, but when we do, we're going to keep the wire on the driver's side because all the electronics are going to be pushed through the driver's side of the vehicle, and that's where the switch is gonna sit. So that is literally it. Now I'm gonna peel the blue film off. Of course that had to happen. And that is how a 30 inch light bar will look with this bracket setup. Pretty clean, very, very easy to install. I mean, super easy for me right now because obviously we don't have the bumper on or the grill. And I really like how you can mount this at different points. So. As you know, this Toyota is equipped with Toyota Safety Sense, which is that garnish and the sensor in the front. We're gonna have to mount the light bar around that. And also new to 2020 and up, we have the front facing camera. So actually I think that probably sits around here. So this might not be a good mounting place for the light bar. There's lots of different choices we can pick in terms of where to mount this. So guys, thank you so much for checking out today's episode on the TRD Pro Rebuild. I think now that the sub-assembly is done and getting the headlights on really makes a big difference for this truck. It's really coming together. Cosmetically, the only thing on the exterior that's missing is the bumper and the grill, but otherwise, she's looking pretty good. I'm a really big fan of these LED style headlights. I think they look awesome. I definitely want to put a pair in my truck too, although I think that requires a wiring harness, but I hope the camera is doing them justice because these things look awesome. It real life. Also, I think it's pretty cool that we have this whole light bar mount set up. Obviously more details to come when we actually get it completed, but if you guys are thinking about mounting a light bar and you're not sure where and you want it to be pretty hidden, you can consider doing it behind the grill using these SEHQ mounts because it's all pretty easy to do. The next couple things we have going on for this truck are that TRD air intake. We still have to finish that project, obviously. We have to get a new bracket for the power steering fluid reservoir and obviously JB welding some brackets to actually properly mount this headlight. Other big things we have coming up are the airbag. That's obviously a pretty expensive component and a pretty difficult component of this project, but we're working on that. And then we have to take care of the rear bedside damage and possibly the passenger door. Other than that, this truck is really coming together, like I said. It's been exciting to see progress and I'm really glad we have my truck so we can compare when we're looking at parts and how they mount and stuff or wiring. Some of you guys have messaged me on Instagram about having video footage of the frame getting straightened out or the sub-assembly work getting done. And unfortunately, since we outsource that work, we don't actually have video footage of it. That's pretty difficult work to do yourself in your garage. I know that Sammy, who is Taco Taco, that also rebuilt a Tacoma, pulled some of his sub-assembly out himself and he got really cool footage of that. But in our case, it was just much better to outsource that work. But I'm gonna continue to do my best to film as much as I can of this project for you guys to see because I know a couple of you guys are really interested in it. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy this and we'll stay tuned for episode four and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.